Introduction. At a tech conference, two colleagues discuss the details of their upcoming workshop and some issues with their computer systems. Here's how their conversation unfolds. Hey, Mike, have you registered for the session on machine learning yet? Yes, I have. I also need to arrange the accommodation for our team. The hotel is already overcrowded because of the conference. I see. I hope they don't ignore our request. Can you get in touch with them and allocate our rooms accordingly? Sure. I'll figure out the best solution. Also, the computers we use should be compatible with the software. We can't afford any mistakes during the workshop. Good point. I'll make sure we coordinate our efforts to avoid any duplication. I'll also display the agenda for everyone. Great. I'll also contact the tech team to attend to any potential issues with the systems. Accommodation. 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 Meaning, a place where people can stay, such as a hotel or a conference room. Example, the hotel offered excellent accommodation for the conference attendees. Attend. 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 Meaning, to be present at an event, such as a meeting or a conference. Example, she plans to attend the annual tech conference next month. Association. 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 Meaning, an organization or a group of people with a common interest or purpose. Example, the conference was organized by the International Computer Association. Allocate. 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 Meaning, to distribute resources or responsibilities for a specific purpose. Example, the manager will allocate time for each session during the conference. Arrangement. 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 Meaning, the way in which things are organized or positioned. Example, the arrangement of the seating in the conference hall was very effective. Failure. 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 Meaning, lack of success or the inability to meet an objective. Example, the technical failure during the presentation caused a delay. Ignore. 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 Meaning, to deliberately pay no attention to something or someone. Example, it's important not to ignore any feedback from conference attendees. Register. 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 Meaning, to sign up or enroll for an event or system. Example, please register online before the deadline to secure your spot at the conference. Compatible. 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 Meaning, able to work together without conflict. Example, Ensure that all software used in the conference is compatible with the main system. Duplicate. 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 Meaning, to make an exact copy of something. Example, please duplicate the presentation slides for all the conference attendees. Get in touch. Get in touch. Get in touch meaning to make contact with someone. Example, if you have any questions, please get in touch with the conference organizer. Overcrowded. 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 Meaning, too full with people or things causing discomfort. Example, the breakout session rooms were overcrowded due to high attendance. Session. 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 Meaning, a period during which a meeting or a conference takes place. Example, 
The keynote session will start at 9 a.m. Figure out. Figure out. Figure out. Meaning, to understand or solve something. Example, we need to figure out how to streamline the registration process. Display. 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 Meaning, to show or exhibit something. Example, the exhibit area will display the latest innovations in technology. Exercise 1. Listen to a recording. Fill in the missing information in the spaces. Many associations and organizations hold annual conferences so that their members can get in touch with each other and take part in educational programs. When planning a conference, event coordinators try to have a variety of sessions so people attending can select a workshop or a meeting that best suits their needs. When making arrangements for a conference, they look for a site that will accommodate all their needs. The site should be able to hold the number of people expected to attend without the meeting rooms being overcrowded. Good event coordinators tour the site before making a final decision because brochures cannot show all the necessary details. Having meetings in a fun location can really encourage people to register for the meeting. Exercise 2. Read the following passage and write the words in the blanks below. Exercise 1. Listen to a recording. Fill in the missing information in the spaces. Many associations and organizations hold annual conferences so that their members can get in touch with each other and take part in educational programs. When planning a conference, event coordinators try to have a variety of sessions so people attending can select a workshop or a meeting that best suits their needs. When making arrangements for a conference, they look for a site that will accommodate all their needs. The site should be able to hold the number of people expected to attend without the meeting rooms being overcrowded. Good event coordinators tour the site before making a final decision because brochures cannot show all the necessary details. Having meetings in a fun location can really encourage people to register for the meeting. Exercise two, read the following passage and write the words in the blanks below. When I try to shut down my computer, a warning pops up that says, low memory. From there, I can't figure out what to do. The computer won't let me access any of my files, so I can't search for those that I could delete. I've already deleted all of my duplicate files, and I can't believe that my remaining files are using up so much memory. I'd be happy to ignore the computer's warning, but I have no option, since the display is frozen on this message. Do you think I've failed to understand something about the operations of this computer? If you can, would you please allocate a few minutes in your busy schedule to help me solve this dilemma? As I said before, I'm sure that my software is compatible and is not the source of this problem. Part 2 Directions you will hear a question or statement and three responses spoken in English. They will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Select the best response to the question or statement and mark the letter A, B, or C on your answer sheet. Now let us begin with question number seven. Number seven. Where are the training materials being distributed? A. Please pass me the stapler. B. In room 403. C. On the job training. Number 8. Is this the last train? 
A. Yes, it's the nature trail I visited a month ago. B. It'll last two hours. C. No, there will be another. Number nine. Jesse left an envelope for me, didn't he? A. It's at the front desk. B. No, turn right at the corner. C. Yes, he will develop a new product. Number ten. When will the construction be completed? A. In three months. B. They're building a bridge. C. It was too complicated. Number eleven. Won't you try the dessert? A. Try on this one. B. The area is mostly desert. C. Sorry, but I'm full. Number twelve. Why didn't you call our client today? A. I saw it yesterday. B. I emailed her instead. C. Thank you for calling us. Number thirteen. Who still hasn't arrived yet? A. I'll ask Mr. Simpson. B. He arrived an hour ago. C. The train has been delayed. Number fourteen. What do you think about our new television advertisement? A. I watched the show yesterday. B. Through the advertising agency. C. It's very eye-catching. Number fifteen. Where are the stairs to the basement? A. He stared at the sign. B. At the end of the hall. C. There's no elevator in the building. Number sixteen. Can you give me a hand now, or should I ask again later? A. Please hand out these flyers. B. How about after lunch? C. It's my pleasure. Number seventeen. Should we hire a new employee to handle this project? A. Yes, we'll need help. B. Turn the handle. C. A little higher, please. Number eighteen. The concert hasn't been sold out yet, has it? A. The guitarist is Andy Gordon. B. No, his tickets just went on sale today. C. I sold my vehicle. Number nineteen. I'm here to return some shoes. A. Do you have the original receipt? B. They fit perfectly. C. Before the race starts. Number twenty. Have you tested the product? A. Yes, it was an aptitude test. B. I saw it on the news. C. No, should I? Number twenty-one. Who had lunch delivered to the office today? A. Miss Adams will. B. I don't know since I just arrived. C. In the meeting room. Number twenty-two. What's the address of our Hong Kong buyer? A. 
Check the client database. B. From the shipping company. C. Fragile contents. Number twenty-three. Would you like to go through the quarterly report? A. I already did. B. How about through the consulting firm? C. According to the news report. Number twenty-four. Did you purchase a ticket for the performance? A. No, it's a one-way ticket. B. We could watch it live on television. C. The band is world famous. Number twenty-five. Do you remember the name of the presenter? A. No, I didn't present my ID card. B. It's written on the program. C. He was named after his grandfather. Number twenty-six. How did you find my wallet? A. It was less than fifty dollars. B. He paid in cash. C. I asked at the lost and found. Number twenty-seven. Why didn't Sam publish his book yet? A. He is still revising it. B. The library is closed today. C. I'll book a flight. Number twenty-eight. Could you post this announcement on the front door? A. Sure. Wait a minute. B. Yes, he applied for the post. C. They made an announcement yesterday. Number twenty-nine. Didn't the courier already come today? A. I replaced the broken part. B. No, he usually arrives after lunch. C. It was an international carrier. Number thirty. We can't accept credit cards at our store for now. A. It was on sale. B. The last four digits of my credit card. C. What about checks? Number thirty-one. Why don't you bring a camera along? A. In a frame. B. An amateur photographer. C. Actually, I don't have one. Number seven. Where are the training materials being distributed? A. Please pass me the stapler. B. In room four zero three. C. On the job training. Number eight. Is this the last train? A. Yes, it's the nature trail I visited a month ago. B. It'll last two hours. C. No, there will be another. Number nine. Jesse left an envelope for me, didn't he? A. It's at the front desk. B. No, turn right at the corner. C. Yes, he will develop a new product. Number ten. When will the construction be completed? A. In three months. B. They're building a bridge. C. It was too complicated.
Number 11. Won't you try the dessert? A. Try on this one. B. The area is mostly desert. C. Sorry, but I'm full. Number 12. Why didn't you call our client today? A. I saw it yesterday. B. I emailed her instead. C. Thank you for calling us. Number 13. Who still hasn't arrived yet? A. I'll ask Mr. Simpson. B. He arrived an hour ago. C. The train has been delayed. Number 14. What do you think about our new television advertisement? A. I watched the show yesterday. B. Through the advertising agency. C. It's very eye catching. Number 15. Where are the stairs to the basement? A. He stared at the sign. B. At the end of the hall. C. There's no elevator in the building. Number 16. Can you give me a hand now, or should I ask again later? A. Please hand out these flyers. B. How about after lunch? C. It's my pleasure. Number 17. Should we hire a new employee to handle this project? A. Yes, we'll need help. B. Turn the handle. C. A little higher, please. Number 18. The concert hasn't been sold out yet, has it? A. The guitarist is Andy Gordon. B. No, his tickets just went on sale today. C. I sold my vehicle. Number 19. I'm here to return some shoes. A. Do you have the original receipt? B. They fit perfectly. C. Before the race starts. Number 20. Have you tested the product? A. Yes, it was an aptitude test. B. I saw it on the news. C. No, should I? Number 21. Who had lunch delivered to the office today? A. Miss Adams will. B. I don't know since I just arrived. C. In the meeting room. Number 22. What's the address of our Hong Kong buyer? A. Check the client database. B. From the shipping company. C. Fragile contents. Number 23. Would you like to go through the quarterly report? A. I already did. B. How about through the consulting firm? C. According to the news report. Number 24. Did you purchase a ticket for the performance? A. No, it's a one way ticket. B. We could watch it live on television. C. The band is world famous.
Number 25. Do you remember the name of the presenter? A. No, I didn't present my ID card. B. It's written on the program. C. He was named after his grandfather. Number 26. How did you find my wallet? A. It was less than $50. B. He paid in cash. C. I asked at the lost and found. Number 27. Why didn't Sam publish his book yet? A. He is still revising it. B. The library is closed today. C. I'll book a flight. Number 28. Could you post this announcement on the front door? A. Sure, wait a minute. B. Yes, he applied for the post. C. They made an announcement yesterday. Number 29. Didn't the courier already come today? A. I replaced the broken part. B. No, he usually arrives after lunch. C. It was an international carrier. Number 30. We can't accept credit cards at our store for now. A. It was on sale. B. The last four digits of my credit card. C. What about checks? Number 31. Why don't you bring a camera along? A. In a frame. B. An amateur photographer. C. Actually, I don't have one.